God. Please, come in. So, are you saying that my mother's accident wasn't really an accident? I don't suspect it. I know it. Someone cut the brake lines. <gasps> my God, well... My mother said the brakes failed, but when that happens... It always happens when there's no brake fluid. Whoever did this knew exactly what they were doing. Oh, my God. Your mother said she borrowed the car on the spur of the moment, so someone must have been out to get your sister. Oh, my God. I just thought the family should know. Well, thank you. Thank you, Ricky. Rocco. Rocco, yes. Well, I guess uh, if I can't talk to uh, Mrs. Davidson or her daughter, I'll uh, go over to the police station. No, no, no. Why not? Well... There's no reason to get the police involved. This was attempted murder. Why wouldn't you want the police to know about that? Why were you in Cain pretending to be Prince and Princess of Mandora in the first place? Well, you know, it seemed like a really good idea at the time, but... You know what, now that you're here, there's something I'd really like to talk to you about. Because, you see, when we were kneeling there and they were about to lower the axe and we were going to get beheaded, well, then Cain, he just turned to me and, and he looked at me and he said, I love you, Tina, and I said, I love... I said, I love you to Cord. Cord. That's what I said. I'm uh, pretty sure that's why Kane parachuted out of the plane. Kane parachuting? I'm not even going to ask about that one. Yeah, that's a good idea. But um, here I was. I thought I was going to die. And the man that I said I loved was Cord. Just as you said Cord's name when you were marrying Max Holden. Oh, please, don't remind me of that. Oh, but I think this is pretty significant, don't you? So why do you think all these feelings are bubbling up now? I think it's because of all the time I'm spending with Sarah. I mean, I see Cord so much in her. Mm -hmm. And the more time I spend with her, it's making me have feelings, feelings I haven't even had in ages. And, I mean, here I am. I was halfway across the world, running my own little monarchy, and I still could not get Cord out of my system. I understand that. I knew you would. I knew if there was anyone in the world that would understand it would be you. Flight 1855 to New York boards in 30 minutes. Oh, and that's my flight. You're going to New York? Yes, then to London and Johannesburg. You're doing all that alone? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, who are you running around? Someone. Vicky? Come on, I'm your sister here. Tina? Mm -hmm. I mean, and you're going to Africa all by yourself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's the guy? Tina, I'm going to Africa to do work for the Heart Organization. Alone? Yes. Okay. Like I've always said, who needs a man anyway? Why would I know anything about that nightgown? Maybe because you bought it. Why are you wearing it then? You have to ask this guy over here. Whoa, she totally came on to me. Oh, yeah, right. I came all the way over here and put this tent on to seduce your bodyguard. Get out. Look, when we ran into each other before, I... I guess I picked up one of your packages by mistake. I wanted to return it. Mm -hmm. It's because you're so desperate to find out who that nightgown is for. I just wanted to meet this lady and warn her about the man she's getting involved with. This lady happens to know me better than you ever did. Really? She knew all about you, Todd? She know why I kicked you out? Why you can't see your kids? Does she know all the horrible things that you did to me over the years? Like tell me that my son was dead? Does she know that? Does she know that you raped Marty Saybrook? Could you hand me my bag? Did I miss any calls while I was taking orders? Not that I know of. I'm not having missed calls. I guess it didn't ring then. That's weird. What? All the calls that came in have been erased. I wonder who could have done that. All right. You did miss a call. From Rex. 
Yeah, from Rex. Damn it, Brody. Where was he? Exactly what did he say? So you and B Pa didn't... Uh, didn't... Of course we didn't. Just because I'm a working girl doesn't mean I don't have a heart. Give it just a minute. Don't what? you just a minute me, Ace of Buchanan. You think you can break my heart and then climb right back into my bed? Well, I... Yeah. I just couldn't get you out of my head. So you leave your son sitting here while you come across the street for a quickie. What kind of sicko are you? Pa was just thinking about the future. Oh, really? Whose future? Everyone's. Well, I happen to know a little something about my future, and I know that it doesn't include ever sleeping with Ace of Buchanan again. No, you, you gotta sleep with him. It, it's a matter of life and death.